Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be covering input box, which allows users to put in values while the script is running. So you can make the script use that input to perform certain things. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Welcome back. In AutoHockey, an input box is a GUI or graphical user interface. So it will look like the standard AutoHockey GUI with the standard AutoHockey icon in the title bar. What is a GUI? An example of GUI is this. Save it, run it. This is a GUI. And while I plan to cover GUI in much more detail in future, unfortunately, it's not going to happen very soon because GUI is a massive topic and covering it will have to take place over lots of episodes. So coming back to the input box, the most basic way to create an input box is in this manner. So that's it. Now, as you can see in the IntelliSense in Sight, there are lots of parameters, so let me just grab them and move it upwards. Now, if I save this script and run it, I'll get an input box like this, and I can type in any value here. Press OK or Cancel, or even the Close button up there. You may have thought that the input box that you saw just now um, is slightly larger than what you may have wanted, in which case you can adjust the width and the height of the input box. So I'm going to put that as a blank because that is this parameter, which I'm going to explain to you in a bit. And we'll set a width of 100 and a height of 100. Save the script and run it. And I'll get a much smaller input box like that. So what is this hide parameter? Let me show you. What it does is it's useful when you want to mask the input input by the user so something like if you go enter your password in the prompt parameter and then go hide in the hide parameter save this and run it what's going to happen if I type out a value in this uh, input box is it will be masked with asterisk like that now, please note that this value is the name of the variable in which you're going to put the user's input into. So if in the next line, I go message box my input, which is the name of the variable here. If I save it and run it, I'm going to type out a random string. And then if I press OK, what it's going to do is it's going to show me a message box that's going to display the value that I have entered into the input box before which got added into the variable All right you can also set a default value so let me go enter current time in the prompt and that's hide with height x y font timeout and default value let me put in the current time and in, in order to put in the current time you use that variable name if i save this and run it i'll get a input box with the default value of today's date with hour minute second and milliseconds i believe printed in my uh, input box Right next up is how to deal with the input. So enter uh, a value. I'll change that to enter a value. So I've explained to you that if you go message box my input, put in a random string, and press OK, then it's going to show me um, the value that is entered into the variable. Um, but let's see what happens if I press cancel. Even if I press cancel, I get the random string showing up in my message box, which is probably not what I want. So what I'm going to do is if error level, 
message box cancel was pressed else show me my my input so what this does is so if error level which is going to be either one or zero so zero means there has been no error one means there has been an error and if this is one then this statement this command is going to run otherwise it will show me my input and when you run this script let me save it and run it when you run it and press cancel the error level will be set to one and it will show me the message box that says cancel was pressed all right let me put in a random string and then go ahead and press cancel i'll get cancel was pressed if i run it again go random string and press close button this time it will say cancel was pressed again however if i press ok then i'll get the my input variables value showing up in my message box all right last thing we're going to cover today is how to make the input box always stay on top and in order to do that you need to add in this command which starts with GUI because input box is a GUI last found own dialogs always on top okay if I save this and run it the input box is going to always stay on top so if even if I click site it will lose its focus but it's going to stay on top like that and it's going to work as it did before all right that's pretty much it for today's tutorial if you want to learn more about input boxes then you can visit this url which is the official documentation of input box from autohockey thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video